Welcome to the Aero General Service Channel. I'm your host, Corey Bartolotti, and in today's video, we're going to be catching two gutter downspouts and tying in two channel drains uh, on opposite ends of the pool deck that are right now draining into nothing but the dirt. So we're going to tie those into our system, and it's going to be two separate lines that are going to run out the backyard into a swale that goes through the back of all of these houses. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is start by marking the ground on where we're going to dig. And remember, call 811 before you start digging. That way they can mark out all the utility lines. If you don't already know where they're at, it's better to be safe than sorry. So we're going to go ahead and start trenching this out and making sure our trench has the proper fall onto it. Now, because this first line is going to be a pretty far run, this is roughly about 100 feet. We're going to go ahead and put a vented clean out on this first gutter. That way, if the line ever does need to be accessed, you don't have to disconnect it at the channel drain. You can just access it right at that vented clean out. Now, when installing my pipe, I like to work from the house and work my way out towards the discharge end. Now, each section of pipe, after I measure it, I get a good measurement. You measure twice, cut once, and each section of pipe, I'm going to make sure that I use my level to level that out before you glue it into your fitting. Because once it's glued into your fitting, if you have the wrong angle on that fitting, especially if it's a 90, like this, this 90 degree angle right here, then the rest of the line is going to be off and you're going to have to cut that pipe and readjust it and cup link it in. So it's always best to double check your level before you glue your pipe into your fittings. Now, another thing to keep in mind whenever you're installing drainage pipe is your fall and your level is very important. If you start too deep on, let's say, a 100-foot run in the beginning, by the time you get down to where that pipe is going to discharge, you're going to be so deep in the ground that the pipe is not going to discharge properly. So you want, always want to make sure that you can gather as much fall from the beginning of the run as possible so that when you do finally make it down to your discharge end, you're not super deep into the ground to the point where the system is not going to function properly. Now this angle right here that we had to make, we used a 22 and a half and a 45 together to make this angle. That way it has a good sweep on it because we already have two 90s at the beginning of this run. So the third 90, it's a lot better to make it a longer sweep if possible. That way it allows debris and the water to flow through a little bit better. So now we're going to go ahead and connect this channel drain in on the other side along with this gutter downspout and we're going to run those out to the swale with a percolation tee. Now this is very common. We, we always see this. For some reason, the pool deck channel drains, when they get installed by the installers, they just dead end them on the outside and they just leave it and the water has nowhere to go. And usually the pool deck channel drain just gets covered up with dirt, mulch, landscaping, things like that and literally the water cannot escape. So you have to have a place for the water to go because if not, obviously the water is gonna stay there, it's gonna pool and it's not gonna be able to escape. All right, so as you can see, we're leveling out our pipe, making sure that the main line has the proper pitch to it. And now right here, there's gonna be a, a sprinkler pipe. Now we could reroute this sprinkler pipe, but we are plenty deep right now with a lot of fall. So what we are actually gonna do is we're gonna cut our main line right here and we're going to sink the next portion of it even lower. That way, when the water and debris, anything that's being carried by this pipe, right when it hits this, this slope, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it go even faster. It's going to increase the head pressure, and it's going to help move things through this system even quicker.
the men are now working on installing the percolation tee on this run. Now, the way these tees work, you have to understand we're in Florida. The soil around here is very sandy, so it allows water to drain. Now, if you're in clay soil, or if you are in a low-lying area where the ground just holds a lot of water in general, then yes, this percolation tee method may not work, but the areas that we are in, that we're installing them, they work excellent because the ground allows it to work. You have to work with the area and the environment that you're in. Different environments will call for different techniques and different materials to be used. That dictates the way things are done. Now that we have all of our pipe leveled and in the ground the way we want it, it's time to start backfilling it. Now guys, I want you to take a look at this right here. Right now, one of the men is spraying off the pool deck to clean off the dirt and the debris that we tracked in there. The water is entering the channel drain just from the hose and it's already making its way all the way out to the discharge end. Now what will happen is on a heavy rain event, when this system is taking in loads and loads of water, that percolation tea is not gonna be draining down into the ground. What's gonna happen is that water is gonna be going up and it's gonna be bubbling up out of there and it's gonna be flowing into that swale and that swale leads to a giant retention pond that's on the golf course. When the rain event has ended, the soil will start to dry out and the water will be able to go down the percolation tea into the drain rock that we put down in there and that will allow the entire pipe to slowly drain out so that you don't have any water in these systems. Now, like I have said before, I have been trying to go back and get footage of systems that we have installed during rain events. It is very difficult because in Florida, chasing storms is hit or miss. Sometimes the storms last for 30 minutes. Sometimes they last for uh, 10 minutes. It, it all varies. And these jobs are all over the place. They're all spread out. So I'm going to do my best to go back to actually get some footage. All right, well, we hope you enjoyed this video and you gained some knowledge out of it. And if you live in the Tampa Bay area and you're experiencing a flooding yard or water intrusion into your home, give us a call. We can come out there and assess the situation and we can design a system that fits your needs. And until next time, this is Aero General Services signing off.